everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery here at the ATA Show 2018. I am at the DynaShield booth with Jim Stolke. And Jim, every archer who's shot into a target knows the pain of pulling the arrows out of those targets. You have a cure for that. <laughs> we think we do. We have the sweet spot, hopefully, for that. This is just as a demo. We have, this is a polished sheet metal where we've coated most of it, and this part of it hasn't been coated. So this is Gorilla tape, typically very hard to get pulled off, whereas on the coated portion, the Gorilla tape comes right up. That's great. This is part of our hydrophobic technology. Yeah, yeah. And so what you have that you, grab one of these back here. So what you have is a coating that you put on the arrow. T tell us about that process. This is a nano ceramic technology that we developed and have the patents on. It's been used in the aerospace industry for mold releases and sealers for mold uh, tooling as well. So we've beefed it up for this industry, however, because of the abrasion requirements and so on. So this is a, we have Dynas Slick Shield, which is the base coat that you put down, which stands by itself. And then we also have, in, in essence, basically the Dyna Slick, which is a towelette, which this one will do 12 arrows by itself, and each one of them is air dry. The, the base and the uh, Slick Shield would be as many as 40 arrows in one bottle. And explain to me, so you would put on the base coat, which one would you put on first and which one second? Great question. The, the Dyna Slick Shield is something you would take a, like you would do a cotton swab or something, but you would, a linen type of a cloth, yeah. and it is literally nothing more than you're pulling up the arrow, and you'd be just literally coating your, taking your bottle, pulling it under that, and then you're literally going to wipe it down. And you let that dry for how long? Ideally, it'll be dry to the touch in 30 minutes, but it'll be fully cured in five days. Five days. We'd like to see you wait at least five days, and then ambient cure does not require any special tools or curing ovens or anything like that. And important to remember, unlike some of the other lubes that are out there, is you don't have to keep re reapplying this. This lasts for hundreds of shots. Yeah, so we expect it to last no less than 200 shots, probably more likely 250 shots with the same arrow before you even need to have any kind of refreshing uh, coating on it, but no lubrication whatsoever. And then, and the refreshing coating, that's what the towelette is. Yes, sir. And it, this is something where you tear open the towelette. It's just like you'd use for cleaning your hands after a meal. This one is, you would wipe down the uh, arrow that's been, that you feel like the release properties are starting to fade on and coat it 12 arrows with this towelette, then let it air dry at least an hour, but preferably overnight, and you're back in business. Now, right here, we've got some arrows in the ballistic gel. Tell us what each one is coated with and is not coated with. <laughs> we felt as though uh, Victory arrows and the ice coating was the leading uh, coating in the marketplace, so that was who we were out to try and compete against. So in this case, we have all VAP arrows. We have uncoated. This is the Victory with the ice coating. This one is ours with the Slick Shield base coat on it. And this is the Slick Shield plus the Dyna Slick on top of it. So we have about a 30% increased penetration on the ballistic gel itself. That's 30% increased penetration, but now tell us about the force required to remove these arrows. <laughs> one might think that it's gonna be even harder now that it's gone in further, but yeah. actuality of it is on the raw, arrow, we're going to be somewhere right around 102 to 100 to 102 pounds of, por of force required. Then on, if you were to get your, any of the snot uh, lubricants out and do that, that drops to 50 to 52 pounds. Then when you put our slick shield on, now you're talking 37 pounds. And then if you do slick shield with the Dyna Slick top coat, you're at 30 to 32 pounds. So you're going to lose 70 pounds less effort per arrow to pull out. That certainly would make archery more enjoyable because some of those targets, man, it's just rough getting the arrows out of there. <laughs> and, and, and frankly, also keep in mind that as you're going through, if you've done 200 or 250 shots, you're also down to your fibers and you're wearing the fibers and your arrow out and so on. This is protecting it. So you, uh, by the time you're at 250 and you do your refresher, you haven't even started to hit the, the fibers. 
So how about weight as far as putting both of these on? Are you adding much weight to the overall shaft? We are adding no more than one grain per arrow, and we, uh, but at the same time, we've been picking up one foot per second in speed at the same time. Nice. And you were saying, I mean, we're talking about arrows here, but you're talking about putting it on the point, the broadhead, uh, lots of other things. What are some other applications for it besides the arrow shaft? I'm glad you brought that up, PJ. The, we can put it on the broadhead, we could on a uh, crossbow, on the rails, on the trigger mechanisms, any place where friction is hampering performance, yeah. this has the ability to be done. DynaShield, that's an awesome new product here at ATA. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.